Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Hattie Homemaking. So today I thought I would do another vlog. I feel like I've not been on this channel for so long. I've been busy with a new, well it's not a new hobby, it's an old hobby that I've re-picked up. So I used to be really into horse riding in the past. I had a horse on loan, well part loan, before I went to university and I had to give him up at the time and then since university I've just really not got back into horse riding at all so recently I've decided I really just needed well number one a hobby since Paul was playing golf so much but number two just like to get out in the fresh air more I think after this year I was finding myself becoming quite like confined to my house almost and was having anxiety about leaving the house I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that after this year that it just kind of you get into a routine of not going out that much and it kind of sticks so I found a horse online and I am part loaning her now so her name is Millie I'm gonna put up some pictures that I'm talking about her so I've been going riding I'm going up to the yard loads in the past couple of weeks so that's why I've been more quiet on my YouTube channel just because most of the time I have been looking exactly like this like greasy hair no makeup just like throwing clothes on in the morning covered in mud and I've realized like that actually makes me really happy like don't get me wrong I will always be super girly and I am into femininity and all of that and wearing pretty clothes but also I find there's something like soul fulfilling about not worrying about that stuff and just getting up not worrying about makeup just brushing my hair putting on any odd clothes and just heading down and getting some fresh air and being around animals it just is making me so so happy so it's kind of put me in this place of youtube of i want to feel authentic to myself and obviously i've started this channel and a lot of it was to do with femininity and i feel like i've always run out of things to say about femininity until it starts getting a bit too superficial so I feel like I've sort of said all the things I want to say in terms of character building and what it means to me so I'm still probably every now and again going to talk about that but it's definitely sort of the slow living homemaking side that I'm much more interested in and is definitely more authentic to my life right now so I'm just gonna do a vlog and obviously I'm working full-time at the moment as well so I kind of avoid filming on the day I'm working Working. but what I'm gonna do is maybe just do vlogs but just do them over a couple of days so after work you, I can't wait to take this YouTube channel well take my camera and put some clips together of being at the yard because it's just so peaceful to me and yeah that's just sort of where I want to go with this channel so thank you so much if you're still here and still interested in me my life on my channel after I have been gone for so long it really does mean a lot to me that anyone would still be interested. So yeah, I'm going to film for the next couple of days and let's just see where it goes. So this is exhibit A of the type of outfit I have been wearing recently. So just a t-shirt. This was my friend sent this to me because I made her partner a cake for his birthday. So she made this, to, well, she sent this to me to say thank you. How cute is it? I love it. So I just have been wearing t-shirts like this. Leggings most of the time with mud on, as you can see. <laughs> long socks because they work better for horse riding boots and yeah this is just how I've been living my life recently and I've been loving every moment. <laughs> 
The other thing as well is my homemaking has not been the best recently. I have been slacking on the old cleaning, so I probably do need to do a bit of a clean up now. Maybe I can do that on the vlog. Also with my gardening, that has gone to pot as well. I feel like this horse riding has just taken over my entire life recently. So I ended up having to get rid of loads of the stuff I planted because it died because I didn't give it any water for about a week and a half <laughs> so it's my own fault but I did buy a little tomato plant which I'm looking like it's starting to revive and I also planted some more sunflower seeds I only did two this time so we'll see how they come out as well so fingers crossed I have a better look but I've also moved my greenhouse so it's pretty much right next to my window so I'm not going too far into the garden as literally I can do it in an evening just quickly give it some water give them some love and be done with it.
So I just thought I'd show you guys some candles that I was sent from an amazing company called Coastal Melt and it's a lady who runs it herself. She's got a young daughter and if you buy anything from the company they send you a little leaflet that just talks about her and how she started it and it's just like a lovely small business. So she reached out to me on Instagram and offered to send me some things so I wanted to share with you. It's so difficult because you can't actually smell it so it's so difficult to try and get across how absolutely incredible these things smell like I love candles don't get me wrong but I find they don't normally have much of a strong smell once you've burnt it a couple of times but these are seriously next level so she sent me this candle which is in the scent Enchan Enchanted Tides so that's jasmine vanilla and cedarwood I think you say it like that so the whole idea between behind this company is that it's a sort of sense of the coast so it's going to remind you of summer and holiday and it just smells amazing it's the two wicker one I got and she also sent me some wax melts as well so I'm going to share that with you first I'll show you my absolute favorite scent I think genuinely of all time of any candle I've ever smelled it's the warm sands scent I keep going to say flavor <laughs> and this is in the scent so it's blueberry vanilla and strawberry I actually can't like the first time I smelled this even Paul I made him him smell and he even he was like that is ridiculously nice it's like sweet but insane so I, d I highly recommend that I think if I was going to buy a candle for myself in the future I'll definitely get it in warm sands and then I also got shoreline kiss so that's peony rose and violet and sleepy shores what a lovely name sleepy shores and that is the scents norfolk lavender tonka and vanilla so yeah i'm so happy to have been sent them so i think tonight i'm gonna have a really nice relaxing slow night um i've been so busy recently obviously doing things i love and i felt so genuinely content in my soul <laughs> about everything that life has given me I just feel so grateful for and yeah I don't know it's just a really good time in my life so tonight I don't even know how I got onto that topic but tonight I am going to have a really slow evening just take it a little bit calmer since I have been so go go recently so I'm gonna have a bath with one of those candles I have convinced Paul to get an Indian takeaway with me so I will show you that when it comes and yeah we'll just have a really nice slow pamper evening <laughs> 